boy. It's time. The CK3 DLC I have been waiting for since it got announced. Crusader Kings 3 Roads to Power. And I have clearly been a good boy this year as Paradox have gone ahead and sponsored this video and given me early access, which I have to say thank you very much for. And if you want to get the DLC, obviously, check out the link down below. But I'm not fronting, as they say, when I am no cap real excited for this DLC. But the reason I am so excited and have been since this got announced is the Wandering Exiles. You can now be an adventurer. I'm sure many of my little Timothys know that I don't suit the play style of a king, an emperor, a leader. I am the homeless vagrant. And of course, there's only one man we can play in this new adventure. A man I do believe has quite the way with the... <laughs> Bonjour. I've been there but lost my hair. Oh. That's been a rough few weeks. Yeah. I've not taken a shot in this year. <laughs> Conniving puppet master. Lustful and whole of body. A garlic a bread. Yeah, last one is just because I'm kind of scared he might die. Riddled with venereal diseases. Now, in this universe, Mr. Pepe Pepe Begetti has not had the best of life. He's a landless ruler. No land. No money. And certainly no fair maidens. And here we have it. Our realm. It's a tent. And whilst it is uh, not exactly too homely right now, it will grow and become larger. We already start with two camp followers, Catherine the Trickster and Ma... Margo. And other than our two plucky followers, that's all we have for now. Now we can go ahead and move our camp wherever we want, as long as we have enough provisions to make the journey. But we don't want to be traveling just yet, because on the map are contracts we can accept as our adventure to get a bit of moolah going, because we are, as the French would say, le bro. Now we do have a few contracts right here that we can take, but we are obviously a intrigue-based character, so we're going to go with abducting, and if we pull it off, we will get ourselves a 125 gold, a bit of opinion of the guy that wants us to do it, and some more apples so we can travel around. Now, traveling over here won't be too much of a bother, but sometimes when you travel, you will need to get a few guys together to make it easier for you, as there's a lot of danger in the world. Uh, this is where I trip on a rock and break my neck immediately. Uh-oh. I was staying in this guy's little shack, and now he wants 50 gold out of respect, and, uh... <laughs> but do not with a bit of conniving, I can get us out of this one. Uh, pay me 50 gold instead. Somehow that worked. Okay, so we need to abduct Matthew. This guy does not like him, and he'll pay us good money to get it going. So hopefully, we don't mess us up. And schemes are now done different as you can see we have our overall success chance which can be increased by hiring new people for the scheme and our current rate which if we could hit it right now we'd have a 17 percent chance of succeeding now obviously i'm only walking around with my two beautiful ladies Catherine the trickster and margar so i don't really have anyone to fill out the fuck rolls but <laughs> we can get a lookout potentially and you can see what they would actually add so realistically we want to get the success chance chance up so we're gonna need to put somebody as the fuck and Catherine you're gonna have to muscle this guy down now because the secrecy is so high anyway I think we'll just put Marga on the speed one here so that we get to the next phase a bit quicker okay we've got ourselves up to the max amount we can go we've got five advantages and these are what we spend to actually execute the plan oh so while I was waiting around we've got another fellow come and join us and this guy could be used in our scheme uh, he's not exactly great at anything we need but we'll throw him onto the fug roll and hopefully that'll up our chances a bit okay another thing is these advantages right here are what you get over time and you'll use these to actually execute the plan we've got 10 right now so we can execute with confidence and hopefully the 57 cent chance of success we get it nice excellent i did however gain the trait gallows bait which is kind of in the name there we're becoming a bit of a bad boy but they 
there you go. We did our scheme. We have completed it. We got paid. And now we can spend some of that money on our camp. Okay, I think we'll start off with the baggage train. That'll give us more provisions. And also, more people will be more likely to turn up when we scout for talent. And this guy is very happy that we gone ahead and captured the fella he was after. Now, uh, Matthew, on the other hand, though, hopefully he never gets out of this prison. It would uh, not be too good for me. Oh, now, immediately, we've got ourselves a another job down here so we're gonna go straight to that one and this one we are burgling the treasury of countess hildegard and this we have a very good chance of succeeding it oh those pepe smell a little romance in the air oh no that is still me but it seems Manash and margot are getting along hmm, a little well i see oh margot is after a bit of le bejeti, I see, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. That takes some stress away, even though I'm not stressed at all. And after a night of frolicking, it's time to execute our scheme. Okay, let's see if we can go ahead and get this heist done successfully. Ah, we got across easy, we've broken in, but we can also steal a bit more. It definitely comes with risk, because if we get caught, she is <laughs> she's gonna come for me. Oh, we did it, no problem, but but she definitely knows it was me. Such, I think it might be best we move the camp now. Now, let's just say because we are, you know, taking the back alley here and doing a few dark and shady things, we're going to become freebooters over here and set our camp purpose. Becoming a brigand is definitely going to get us more attention, but also more stuff to steal. Oh, it also comes with this complimentary mace, apparently. So because we have made a little friend over here when we captured Matthew, we can ask him for a request. Question. I'm gonna ask him for some men at arm. And there you go, I just got myself an armored horseman. That's gonna come in handy. You know, just in case things ever go bad. Ah, uh, my frolicking with Margot has ended in a little disaster called Bogoigrin. What a beautiful little frog daughter I have brought into the world. It's not like it particularly matters. We have nobody who really cares about our bastard child, so we'll just let everyone know. I have a little bit of a sniffle. Look at that. The Pope's got a hype man now. Okay, look, he just kind of hangs out back there. <laughs> We're waiting for him to die. We have to select our second in command, and considering she has birthed my child into the world, I guess we'll go with Margot. I'm no longer sick, so I'm going to go ahead and move the camp now, and we'll go visit Brittany. Not before I steal 50 gold from this tomb. I am not what you would call a good man. Well, now we got two contracts over here to burn a property for 134 gold, or abduct another foe. 133 gold. You know what? They're both criminal. I'll just go burn this guy's house down. But we completed that immediately. So give me some money. Also means I can just go down here immediately and go abduct that guy. There you go. Another scheme successful. Okay, we're hanging out in the Duchy of Normandy. And one thing we can actually do that I haven't showed off yet is actually go visit the castle. And let's see if there's anyone around to join our band of merry thieves. Uh, so we have Millicent, Stephen Gerard, and Clemenza. Clemenza actually is a wise woman and quick so i think we could probably use her expertise she's also a little bit conniving holy moly i'm robbing this guy and he's got a lot of gold we just got out with 456 gold right there safe to say though we should definitely never come back here but yeah at the same time i don't think we need to worry too much i think <laughs> we got him just to as he was leaving anyway i have gained the new name the accursed now it seems the king of england has stolen my favorite boy nay troy i think we're gonna have to go over there and pay him a little visit oh you want me to pay for him huh you think i got 10 gold uh, laying around. Ye of little faith, King William the Conqueror. King William the Conqueror. I don't like it. Pepe Le Pep of Begetti has officially <laughs> killed a king. And oh boy, do people know about it. And I think we've got quite a name for ourselves in France and now England. So we're going to move our camp a little bit further away. In our baggage train, we can have an internal upgrade slot on it where we have a whole bunch of interesting things we can buy. One of which I'm interested in is Ransom Cages, which automatically unlocks the abduct scheme for us. We've also grabbed Mortician's Tool 
pools where any battle that is on my camp or I'm a part of, we can gain some gold from it. That's right, we are rifling through the pockets of dead men. Okay, there's a battle on me right now. How much gold will I get? Oh, that actually, that's actually quite a bit. I am currently trying to abduct this child. We'll then sell the child back to its owner for a hook on the king of France, just in case. Although, at the same time, hopefully he de-stresses a bit. Oh, yeah, hopefully he, he, uh, <laughs> he de-stresses a lot. I could go ahead and make his life a little bit worse, though. Uh -huh, it appears my superiority has caused some upset. I think it's safe to say we should probably leave France pretty quickly. Pepe is definitely not a holy man. He does enjoy viewing the site. As such, I've come down to hang out with the Pope. Where I'm immediately gonna go ahead and start robbing him. Bad luck for King Felipe, the second king slain by Pepe at the Doge of Venice. What a wonderful city you have. Shame you're in my prison camp. I've abducted him and now I will release him for the mere price of 240 gold. Actually, a plus 40 because of my man haggler. And then we'll very quickly leave Venice. The Pope's called for a crusade in Wallachia. Now, this could be a good time for us to get our camp over there and uh, wait for the battle. All right, we made it over. Now, good news is, if any battles happen, we'll be right here to rustle through those pockets. Okay, it begins. Already got a little bit of gold there. Hopefully, we can get some more. Okay, there you go. There's the big one right there. Boom, 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 boom. 32. Oh, <laughs> Thank you for the 200 gold. Now I'm just thinking if one of these ended up over in uh, the Middle East, <laughs> those battles get pretty big. Somehow they lost that crusade, but I won it. I ended up with like 347 gold and I've just upgraded my campfire over here with the juicy rumors, which will give us criminal contract rewards plus 50%. Okay, next, so let's get out of Wallachia over here and take a little gander down to Constantinople. Now, whilst our little camp has been quite prosperous, we've had many adventures. One thing Pepe hasn't done is got married. Uh, it doesn't mean he hasn't philandered a little in his time. One way we can get ourselves a wife is by making people happy with their contracts. We can then make a request and they'll find us one. Oh, that's if they have someone for us to marry. This one. She ain't great. She don't like me, but we're gonna take her. What I haven't shown off is that you can actually get an army and become a mercenary band. I have some men at arms and I've been hired by this guy down here to take down his enemy. Good news, I banged my wife. Oh, and my daughter is born. Second door, I should say. <laughs> She's an albino. In honor of tradition, she will be garlic bread. And we've also popped out a son called Le Pep. I guess we'll go with Le Pep to garlic bread alu. And oh boy, what a good looking fella. I'm not too sure who Coco, 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 as is of the Explorers of Alaris. I do like his style. The age of 70. He's still feeling good, but let's be real. I ain't too sure how long he's got left. I swear his head is getting larger. As such, I think it's time that we take Pepe on one last adventure across the globe. We've been to France. We went to England, Germany, Rome, Constantinople. Noble. Uh, also just hanging out over here with High Chieftain Otrok. But let us now journey to the end of the world. We'll start off by making our journey over to the great Carnate of Kimek. We will be immediately thrown out by the vile, horrendous Carnum Sevile. I have to politely say, try and kick me out. We're going to take you with us. Uh, while traversing down to India, I got the bloody flux and they've chopped my arm off. You're looking too good. Ow. He survived! We'll certainly need to get the hell out of Dodge. I've at the end of the world as we know it. My wife has been perished. Hey has made it. He has crossed the entire globe and explored all that can be seen. Cost me one of my arms. Uh, also safe to say I have garnered myself quite the reputation on my way over here. All this way and crossing the world. Pepe 
kind of misses home. Let us fill up on supplies and make the mad dash home. It's going to be very dangerous and we're also going to run out of food around this mark. So things are gonna go <laughs> a little interesting. 79 years old and he's kind of had enough. Let's just say it took a bit of perseverance to make it all the way here. There it is. Around the world and back and all it cost me was my humanity and uh, a couple of people that suddenly aren't in the camp no more. I don't know what happened to them. I don't know. Oh, but it's as soon as we got here. Huh. Hey, but adventure awaits, Paddy. Here comes the crusade. I'm not gonna get involved, obviously, but I will stick around and wait to reap the reward. Uh, I guess we can break into his castle too while we're here. There you go. <sighs> don't mind if I do. Pepe is 83 now. I don't know how he's still going around. Oh, Pepe. What a damn life he lived. Oh, battle, 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 ba gold, gold, gold. You know, with Pepe gone, though, maybe boss Le Pep to Garlic Bredaloo goes on a different path. Boy, Garlic Bredaloo has joined the crusade and usurped the siege of Valencia to steal the glory. The success of that siege, he has been declared the king of Valencia. Yep, random mercenary with like 2,000 men turned up, sieged down a castle and like, all right, we're not gonna mess with this guy. We'll just make him the damn king of the place. That'll be the end of our story or really just the beginning for Pepe Le Garlic Bread to a loup. Um, qu quite the name. It was really Pepe's story. And Pepe, well, uh, well, he's dead. That was the end of his story and this video. I hope you enjoyed having a little look at the new CK3 DLC. Expect to see more of this, especially around the Mega Campaign, because it's going to really be a different one this year. And obviously, if you want to check out the DLC, you can click my link down below because this was a sponsored video. And I have to say, I enjoy this DLC very much. It feels like a whole new game within CK3. But until next time, little Timothy's, I'll catch you on the other side of the world. Oh, I think we may have left some sort of bug over there by luck. Mm -hmm.